So I'm Brett Nelson, and today's hot tip is finding the optimal imaging angle to look at the pleura. So the first part of this tip actually is a reminder to hold the probe with uh, these three fingers, the first two fingers on your hand and your thumb, and that's all you need to keep the probe stable. And then the benefit of having the other two fingers free is you can stabilize yourself on the patient. So you land with these fingers on the patient before you even put the probe down, and now I can have fine motor control and stability as I place the probe and I can have a lot of control over the angles and the pressure that I'm placing. If you hold the probe up a little bit higher with the brute force of your fist, then you're really controlling your probe position with your fist and your shoulder, and you don't have nearly as much control. So when I place the probe down on the patient, I want to get an optimal imaging angle, and when I'm looking at the pleura, I want that to be perpendicular. Now, it's easier said than done sometimes because the anterior chest wall isn't always the same as the pleura. So notice here, I'm trying to look at the pleura, and I'm perpendicular to her chest wall, but if I angle the probe a little bit, I can see that now I'm actually perpendicular to the pleura. Because beneath the surface of the skin, the pleura takes a different shape than the anterior part of the chest wall. So angling back and forth, I can see that this angle gives me a really blurry view of the pleura. I can't get much detail on it at all. So just by tilting my angle to get to the point where the pleura is perpendicular to the probe, I can see a very crisp pleura and lung sliding back and forth between those two ribs, and that's going to optimize my ability to visualize A-lines, determine whether there's pulmonary edema or not, visualize lung sliding a lot more accurately, and look for other pulmonary pathology like um, consolidation, the setting of pneumonia. So just playing with the angle back and forth and making sure that you're perpendicular, give yourself the most crisp view of the pleura, is going to optimize your angle and give you the best chance at finding pathology. So that's your hot tip of the day. Now you give it a try. Yeah.